Oh my goodness. Look at this guy, girl. You know, he's a, supposed to be a boy. And the whole time I've been thinking of him as a boy, but as soon as I rooted him, I thought, uh-uh, this is a girl. I can't wait to put stuff in her hair because she's got a thick head of hair. I'll show it to you in just a second. Let me snip off all these bits here. We're getting there. Here we go. And I did sign dolls for a while, but I just always worried that that ink was going to somehow wreck the doll. The person would get the baby and say, what is all this black ink on here? Or something would go wrong or weird. Sharpie is scary stuff. And so um, I stopped signing them, but I did. If somebody asked me to, I would be happy to. That's a little scent. I'll put a little back here, too. Let's go long sleeve. So this is a super cute baby. Um, the only thing I don't like about it are the toes. The big toe on one foot just kind of looks like the rest of the toes. It looks like he's missing a big toe. I've never seen a baby that doesn't have a big toe that's bigger than all the other toes. But look at this. This little curled up toe stuff. Oh, that is so cute. Teeny, teeny, teeny delicate hands. So small. I love this sculpt. Kind of in the same way I love um, the mix sculpt. I just love those big, heavy, jowly cheeks and, and the way their heads are shaped. Makes me happy. There we go. Give this a sniff. Oh, if you could smell what it smells like in here right now, you would be in heaven. It smells like baby powder and diapers and sweetness. Oh my goodness. This has a little bit of adhesive here where the little sticker was that said what size this um, t-shirt was. Look at you, you have your, your shirt on, but you're without your pants. Let's put some diapers on you real quick. Do you think it's funny that we diaper these babies? I couldn't wait for diapers to be done in my house. My kids were potty trained so fast, unbelievably fast. People didn't believe that they were really potty trained. I started early. My kids hated wearing diapers and I don't blame them. And I hated changing diapers. It just was gross. And, um, oh, you're so cute. I can't stand it. Let's get this hair done and I will show you how thick this hair is. And this hair, is hair that I processed myself and dyed myself. And there was only a little bit of it the, when I went to go buy it and got it. I was like, oh, I love this hair, send me more. And she said, that's all I have left. Oh, I could have cried. This is probably some of the best mohair I have in my stash. It was the first shearing. And it's just so pretty. It's soft. The color wasn't even totally right for this baby, but I didn't care. I wanted this baby to have this hair. I said, we'll just work it out. This hair has to go on this baby. There we go. And it's a little wavy, but not very much. And again, I'm just following the lines that are painted. Let's do a little more back here. Just finger curling a bit. Okay. Look at this baby. Oh my goodness. This face killing me. Killing me. Love it. Love it. Love it. I think this is my favorite baby out of the bunch this time. I always have a favorite. So I was saying I used to sign my babies for a little while and I stopped just because I was worried about the ink leaking, spreading, smudging. You know, I sometimes send conditioner with babies or perfume and I thought, what if that leaks and gets on the ink and the baby gets 
spoiled from it. I feel so terrible, so I stopped doing it. And instead, I had some little labels, some little fabric labels made. And I put them on the babies. And I'll show that to you in just one second. Let me get this last bit off. Now this is Brooklyn again, one of my favorite one of my favorite real born set bountiful baby makes. And I know some people every once in a while I get people saying, Oh, I don't like bountiful babies or I don't buy bountiful babies. Um, I think there's some kind of weird stigma just because they're one of the biggest producers of sculpts and they're very popular, so you see a lot of them. They are less expensive than other sculpts because they do them in mass quantity. It has nothing to do with quality. There's there, it's nothing to do with quality. It's just that they're able to save a little money because, you know, an artist who is making maybe one or three sculpts every five years you know, their run is going to be a lot smaller, so their costs are going to be a lot higher. Whereas Bountiful Bait, because they do such volume, they can order 3,000 sculpt run or something at a time. And they pass that savings on. They don't have to and charge the same price, and they probably would get it. But because of that, a lot of people think that there, it, there must be something of lower quality. Lots of artists limit how many sculpts they're going to put out in the world, and I love that. I think that's really cool. And I think I don't like all Bountiful Baby sculpts. Not all of them are the same kind of pretty. The cool thing is, is they have so much selection. You can get a sculpt that looks dolly. You can get a sculpt that looks super higher, hyper realistic. Cindy Musgrove, oh gosh, that woman is quite the sculptor. Not, you know, not everybody's going to like that super, super... Um, high intense realism that she just turns it up. It's like, it's like reborn sculpting on steroids. That woman knows how to how to do what she does. Um, and then they have you know fantasy, and then they have little animals, and then they have their realborns. They have a lot to choose from depending on your mood and your skill and your interest. I love shopping there. And you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, the market's flooded with this sculpt or that sculpt. It doesn't matter because everybody's doing it differently. My, um, my Brooklyn is not gonna look like somebody else's Brooklyn. There we go, we're combing out her little hair here. She has a combination of brown, and black hair, two different hair companies. She's got a little knot here, I don't wanna tug it. You know, when you get your baby home, remember, don't tug. Work those, that's what the conditioner's for, to ease the combing. You don't wanna tug at that hair, it's not gonna grow back, unfortunately. Oh, this is such a cute baby. Oh, she's heavy. Either that or I just need to eat more Wheaties and go to the gym, so here. I don't want you to see me because I look horrible this morning, but oh my God, this face. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. So that's it for this round of five babies. They're all here in their tubs on the ground. Um, what I do is after, I, oh, the tag. I forgot to show you the tag. I was talking about that and I never showed you. Oops, wrong side. I always put it on this side, but I'm looking, and so it's opposite when I'm looking in the camera. Here's the little tag. It just says St. Cloud Nursery on it. They used to be blue with a little heart, and when I reordered them, I put a little snail on there just because it's so cute. Um, what was I saying? Oh, after this happens, they go into these clear plastic bins. I keep all my kits and clear plastic bins free from dust and dirt and grime and, and anything that could gross that could get in there. 
and um, that bin follows them until they go home. So they have their name on the outside of the bin. Um, they have their own blanket that follows them from the beginning until they go home, because it's usually just a soft flannel blanket and I reuse them. So in there they have their passy, their passy holder, um, all of their paperwork, their certificates of authenticity if they have them, an extra a set of clothes for going home, which is usually some soft-footed pajamas, and then their outfit that I do photography. If I'm gonna use something vintage or different or unique that is I consider part of my props, I won't send it, but I will send something equally cute. On a photography day, I might do four babies, and that's about as much as I can do in a day for photography just because my day is full of other things. And then I'll get those four babies listed, get them put back in their tubs and covered up, and they're put in this closet over here away from light, dust, dirt, anything. I just want to keep them super, super safe. And before I put them away, I usually brush and comb their hair, put a little hair gel in it, put a hairnet on them to preserve that hairstyle, put their hat on, their footy pajamas, and that way they're ready to go home when it's time. And that's what I do. And they don't stick around here very long. Every once in a while we'll have one that sticks around. Um, but for the most part, they find homes pretty quickly. Whoops, you've got a lopsided passy. And that's it, and I hope this was fun for you. I'm going to be taking a painting break for probably a week, put my house together and sculpt and then get back to some more babies because the holiday season is just around the corner and I was hoping to have a much larger inventory for Christmas and I don't. I wanna get some babies done for Christmas because I know a lot of people have been waiting for Christmas to buy babies for themselves or for someone they love. And so I wanna get that started and That's I don't it. think I'm gonna be doing any alternatives until after the holidays. I will keep you guys posted on how the sculpting is going. I'm starting to collect everything that I need to make that happen. So that's it for these babies. They're off to get dressed, photographed, and then they'll just take little naps in their bins until it's time for them to go home. Thanks, everyone.